Well, welcome back. We'll get started on our next game, Chaos Gate. We'll see what it's all about here. For centuries I have felt their coming. Shrouded in vanity, they believe themselves obscured. Free to wage their covert war upon the pure and the righteous. Even now, they gird their souls with contempt, stalking their prey with a morbid pride. But they do not see the reckoning I have prepared for them. For their crimes, they will pay with most holy sacrifice. <laughs> Grandfather's truths cannot be denied. All right, so we, this is uh, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, and I also put on the Castle and uh, DLC as well. So we'll see what that's all about. Check out our settings here. Graphics. Full screen. That should be fine. High. Yep, that looks good. Master volume. It doesn't seem like it's crazy high, so I think we can go with that. Alright, so I guess we'll go new campaign. Merciful, is this like the easiest setting? Plus two nights at GameStar, plus six HP, minus 33% recovery time, minus 25% HD, uh, HT, enemy HP. Enemies have lower stun values. Bloom eruptions are less aggressive. It cannot be changed once the campaign has begun. Standard parameters, ruthless, plus 25% enemy health. Enemies have higher stun values, some enemy squads are larger, plus 25% recovery, minus 1 resilience. Or legendary, plus 50% HP. Enemies have much higher stun values, some enemy squads are larger, plus 50% wound recovery. Knights start with 1 resilience, minus 1 requisition rewards, plus 50% research costs and time, plus 50% construction costs and time, plus 2 purity seal upgrade costs. All right, we'll do that. And what is Grand Disables Manual Saving? The campaign will be limited to only a single auto save slot. You know, I'm actually not opposed to using this, but I've had so many games get corrupted when I try to use this single save. It just makes me get freaked out to do one of these. So I'm, I'm always hesitant to really do that. So I'm going to hold off. Now, newer games, it shouldn't be as big of an issue because usually it's the older games that cause there to be save issues or in corruption, but I'm just not willing to put a lot of time into a game, have it corrupted, and have to start over, especially if I'm doing it on the hardest difficulty, because uh, you may have to pull your hair out a little bit with that. So, all right, well, let's get started here. Looks like we're fighting Nurgle, just given what I'm seeing here. All right, confirm. Photo sensitivity warning. Some individuals may have undetected epileptic conditions. It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred centuries, the Emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Mankind wages a never-ending battle for survival against the demonic power of the Chaos Gods. But by one force is humanity shielded from true darkness. The Grey Knights. This secret chapter of Space Marines are the Imperium's surest defense against that which the Emperor foresaw would be its greatest threat. Humanity's blade against the demon. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war.
Shrine Word World Garus. Unidentified Astartes vessel. This is Captain Parani Everick of the warship Holiness of Ra. Geharis is lost. Repeat, Geharis is lost. All Imperial vessels are to withdraw at once. You have done all you can, Captain. Go, in the Emperor's light. You cannot sail into this storm. We do what we must. Farewell, Captain. Tech Priest, report. Hexagramic wards are under maximal pressure. Commander, we cannot maintain this orbit for long. Dispatch the assault team at once. I will join them and put an end to this myself. Your will be done. Hmm. Weird character art. The assault team is engaged, Commander. They clear a path for your arrival. Here I stand. One unbreakable shield against the darkness. Tonight the Cadium falls, Hector. Our quest is finally near its end. Reminds me of the animation for Warcraft Armor Strat. Your armor values protects your knight's health and regenerates at the beginning of their turn. Hmm. Okay. So uh, I'm going to be fighting, and you're going to weaken armor. So it's kind of like a armor is like a force field in this game. Okay. Palamedes, report. We have cleared a path through this trap. Our target lies ahead. Time is against us, brothers. We breach the cathedral. All right, so pretty much use these to pan. Position your cursor here, and okay, so it's going to pretty much walk me through the first one, and then move. What do I have? AP? Yeah, okay. That's at my action points. No ammo required. Willpower. Psychic power to use abilities. Causes a warp surge meter to rise. HP. Or knights critically wounded. Okay, set destination. Ha! Deluded zealots. Your Imperium shall burn! Cowards and weaklings. Advancing into cover. Full cover reduces damage from range attacks by a hundred percent. So full cover effectively makes you invulnerable to range in this game. Hmm. Interesting. Punish that craven fool. Actions. Characters gain three action points each turn. These action points can be used for movement attacks, abilities, in any sequence. If you can quickly select this ability with one, move, melee attack, within five spaces per AP. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to kill him. Shoot the target with your storm bolter. Your damage can be affected by distance, any cover, and other factors. So how do I know I'm shooting him? Oh, I guess I shot. I thought I was moving. 
Reloading. Parameters bolter ammunition has reached zero. Reload it so he can continue to use it. I will end that heretic. Partial cover is over here. If you double click it acknowledges the spot. That's kinda nice. Move in melee. All right, confirm. Justice. Uther, dispense of that heretic with your blade. Grant them no quarter. Yes, Commander. I am the Emperor's Fury. You're out of cover, Uther. Trust in the Aegis. Aegis Shield provides a temporary armor for one turn. Each armor absorbs one damage before HP are lost. Your knight has permanent armor points. They are restored at the beginning of each turn. How do I know how much armor I have? Is that what these? No, I think those are HP. I don't know. Let's find out. Gain plus two armor for one turn. Immune to autos. Gonna grenade me? Come at me now. Overwatch sets a firing zone. Okay. Time stands against us. I will breach the cathedral. Will you? Oh, I see. That's interesting. Demons, I will not be delayed by these weaklings. Are you sure? That seems like badness to me. Hazardous objects are identified as an icon and they can also be be interacted. How do I know? I don't... I don't see this little circle that they're talking about. Select the pillar. Okay. Your brother is pimped. Advance and deliver retribution. By your command. Deploy your frag grenade, brother. I wonder if this will break their overwatch. We are hammer. Deliver the Emperor's judgment, Uther. Advance and train your bolter on that doorway. Unleash your blessed ammunition the moment they are exposed. Palamedes, prepare for the demon's charge. At once, Commander. Holy shit. That's what I thought. I was expecting these guys to hit hard. This battle is not over. Ah. 
rear strike. Adjacent enemies with melees are automatically strike if you move out of range. Ignore the reaction strike and set your wayward towards the inner sanctum. Rotate the camera to get a better view. You can use Q. Okay, what do you want me to look for? Also have powerful abilities use APN Okay. Roll way forward, devastates all enemies, knockback breaks armor. End that demon, Palamedes. Engage him now. Which penalizes his AP. Auto defense is a blood letter has the auto defense parry that can cancel the first melee attack against it. I will get. We cannot lose another battle, brother Iolanthus. Both demons must be destroyed. Precision targeting. Successful critical strikes with melee attacks allow you to damage one of the enemy's target points for advantage in combat. Select the torso for a stun bonus of two. Afflict enrage, disable weapon. Okay. Return to the jaws of your you stun the bloodletter, a stunned enemy will always be crit by your next attack, giving you easy access to precision targeting. Oh, that seems kind of cool. Many enemies are invulnerable to executions while stunned. Executing an enemy will give your knights plus one AP. Refreshing AP points. Paramedes has gained one AP from the execution. He can immediately attack again to devastating effect. Psychic enhancement. You can enhance most of your attacks with the psychic power for one will point. This is called a force strike for melees and gains plus one damage. Excellent. I will move on ahead. There is not much time, brothers, but we must prepare for the coming battle. So off to your next available. Enemy reinforcements. Palamedes, resuscitate Uther, so you may both defend against them. Healing. Some knights have abilities to heal others during combat. The first time a knight is reduced to zero, he is critically wounded. He cannot fight for three turns. Using a healing action will recover him immediately. Heal five. Take up defensive positions, Palamedes. The enemy reinforcements will be here soon. Set destination. Select a destination within Pi Space. You can simultaneously select a target. Your resolve is commendable, Uther. Join Palamedes in defense of the cathedral. Hates recover from a critical wound will only have 50% max HP until the end of the mission. They can only recover once per battle. Okay. Iolanthus with me. There's a breach in the wall ahead. I will breach the inner sanctum. Oh, maybe we're not just doing uh, Nurgle. Looks like we've got some corn here and then the blood letters. Millions 
of souls feed the flame. The threshold is past. The warp emerges! Your cult is broken. Your ritual is ended. Relish this breath, for it is your last. Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull roar! To my side, Iolanthus. Grey Knights and Power Armor can leap a great distances. Jump over the fissure simply by moving to the other side. I'm sorry, where do you want me to go? Oh, I see. All the way over here. Oh man, I hope they're not doing all these flips and stuff. Like they did in uh, Dawn of War 3, that got to be a little ridiculous. Strike it, deal 8 damage, break 1 armor. Okay, so he's got, I think that means he's got 2 armor. Let's see if my suspicion is right. Yeah. Overwatch in multiple shops. Overwatch gains one reach stack, reach HP, uh, AP remaining when used. You can provide a carry. Okay. So you can do multiple Overwatch shots. I wasn't sure how that worked. Others have bought us precious time, Iolanthus. Flank that demon and fire at will. Set another movement over here. For the Emperor! Okay, so not all attacks you break armor. The sacred place with your master's fire. This ends now, demon. Analysis. Brooke's signature is fading. 
Then the blood ritual has ended. Where is that report? Report! Where is the commander? He died in Champion's death. Blade on blade against the Bower's blasphemy. Victory, even though three out of four people were massacred. Your commander has fallen, but all is not lost. Green knights are powerful, genetically modified super soldiers. They can sustain injuries that would kill a normal human, but they are not invincible. Your knights each have a special resource called resilience. Each indicates how many critical wounds they can survive over the course of the campaign before their injuries require their remains to be returned to your home on Titan. As your knights rise in rank, they will eventually earn more resilience. Boons. Boons are beneficial effects that last for a number of a limited number of turns. Alright, so it sounds like we do have permadeath in this game. Which I'm not opposed to. I wonder if I can chain things together with that execution. Long campaign over at last. A victory at the cost of the commander's life. Alive, he was ever a faithful servant to the Emperor. A true hero. In death, at least his duty has finally ended. Assertion. This ship remains in crisis. The Baleful Edict is seriously damaged. There are grievous matters to attend. Ah, yes. That is why I have invited our guest. You have appointed him to take the commander's place? No one else suitable survived the campaign. Falsehood. You also live. My apologies, Acting Commander. The priests of Mars do not understand our nightly oaths. <laughs> our men and stores are severely diminished. Your task is to lead us for the voyage home. It is a simple duty, and once we return to Titan, I will put the future of your command to the chapter's grandmasters. In the meantime, I will provide what advice I can. I will also support you with counsel and service. But remember, the Baleful Edict is my chief concern. Be careful with this ship. We sail for Titan on your word, Commander. Strike Force Xyphos at your disposal. Welcome to the Baneful Edict. With the fall of Commander Egervan. You have been promoted to the Provisional Command of the Baneful Edict for our journey back to Titan. It should be a simple duty. Uh-oh, nothing's a milk run. I've learned that before. But you will need to manage our limited resources and respond to any threats we encounter along the way. Strike Force Xyphos is at your disposal. Commander, could you please join me in the Strategium? Oh, I don't know. Can I? Mm -hmm. Is this planet view, strategium, star map, manufactorum, libris, malleus? What do we got here? Requisition used to require master crafted equipment and new knights from Titan, gained primarily as mission rewards and completing glorious deeds. Prognosticars can be attuned to star systems to reduce the threat posed by the bloom. There and in all adjacent systems gained by upgrading the augurum from the manufactorum can be improved through research. Grimoires use as research as a primary core mission reward. Each grimoire 
provides base bonus plus 20% of research speed, which can be increased upgrading the library values. Servitors. Required in order to complete construction projects in the Manufactorum. Gained primarily as core mission rewards from the production. Oh, I see what's happening. So this is going to be like a base management thing. I think this is where this is going. One of our battle brothers has proved himself worthy. Let us honor his deeds. Barracks. So these are all melee. Oh no, I see. So Justicar, Apothecary, Purgator, Purgator, Justicar, Interceptor. Okay. Brother Ulrich is a talented Justicar. Please decide where he should focus his training to support you in the field. Shit, I don't know. I'm still not even sure which ones are ranged and which ones aren't. Okay, so you're the one that's got frag grenades, four sword, and a bolter. Abilities. With every promotion, your knights gain two ability points, which you can use to expand their capabilities. Hmm. Okay. Are you telling me which ones I should do? Just a car gains one armor with their Age of Sealed ability. Knight gains five range for their equipped grenades. Knight gains four HP. Choose a knight at any range they gain plus one. Target gains plus one AP. Warp charge, activate to give it for plus two HP, one will point. <sighs> Clips extra war gear. Is that the war gear? Okay. Okay, so this is like uh, health and abilities. Terminator armor, this can now equip Terminator armor. And then armor, armor, armor. Okay, so this is like an, to make a tank, pretty much. Target a knight at any range to transfer all the enemy's art for armor for one turn. Okay, and this is probably going to be the range. Storm bolter, side bullets augment the knight's range. Well, additional willpower. Plus one damage. Terminator armor. Can now equip Terminator armor. Two will points plus four HP. Rapid reload. When the knight's ammo reaches zero, they have a 50% chance to auto reload automatically, plus two critical damage. Yeah, so this is going to turn you into a ranged guy. If you come down here, you can get over to this stuff. Crushing charge. Plus one stun, four HP, stun, this ability gains the effect hobbled, okay, and what do we have here, core discipline, willpower, hammer hand, oh I see, so this is like psychic abilities. And then you can come down to here. Force strike gains plus one damage. Armor break, gain armor break. Force strike. Isn't that the same thing? So I guess maybe you can have two armor destroyed. Ruthless precision. To gain one HP or one AP. Strike at all targets. Oh, I see. So this gives you like a splash damage thing. Willpower. Blast damage. And then what's this stuff? Provoke. Gains plus one use turn for all their auto abilities. I don't know what those are. Okay.
All right. Let's create our tank. So just the cars are going to be our tank and melee. That's how I think I'm going to use these ones. Excellent. When you are finished, please join me at the star map. I would prefer to be able to review my Our troops. Our ship is in dire need of repair. We had best set a course for Titan and debrief the Grand Masters. Choose a destination. Where am I? Over here? Issue the travel order to begin our return to Titan. Okay. So are these like events that happen? No. Oh, I wonder if there's like uh, random chances of attack maybe? Is that what's happening? Baleful Edict, in the name of the God Emperor. Dominus, who is this interloper? Code scrapings indicate an inquisitorial transmission. Baleful Edict. Prepare for my arrival. Duty calls, Commander. We should open a Vox link. Inquisitorial vessel. Permission granted to come aboard. I didn't realize Valkyries were spacefaring ships. this vessel at once impossible we are bound for titan the edict cries out for repair the tech priest speaks the truth inquisitor our last crusade bled us dry i'm not blind knight but heresy does not operate at our convenience my destination is koromar prime within this very system not such a taxing journey I'd expect. And what is it that you hope to find there? This. Beneath rotting skies, the air thickens with the world's final breath. Seeds planted in flesh and bone, watered with blood and tears. A warrior alone in the garden of a grinning god. These are scraps of astropathic whimsy. There's more. It grows, it spreads, a great dispersal upon the etheric wind, the bloom proliferating. First, then Korama, then world after world, its roots spread from an ancient veil. Inquisitor, hear me, hear me, hear me! Who tends? The garden. The Astropath sacrificed himself to send that message. Now you understand why we must investigate. Commander, we cannot risk further damage to this vessel. It is the chapter ship, Dominus. The Inquisitor has every right to request our support. It is not a request. 
<laughs> Commander, with your leave, we will set our course for this Koromar Prime. Yes. Good. That will do for now. Chaos detected. Worlds afflicted with disease have some level of energo corruption, but this is higher than anticipated. We should investigate further. Click on chaos detected. If we do not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. Level warp corruption can lead to increasing amounts of unexplained phenomena and mutations, especially if the plague is involved. You must make planet fall immediately, Commander. Light infestation. This planet exhibits signs of an unknown plague, but its hold over the populace is not yet fully established. We should seize the opportunity to purge it from the system. Mutation level none. Warp surge risk 15. Poxus. This bloom strain carries a theme of plague and disease. Warp surges will introduce fall afflictions to hinder our knights in the battlefield while our foes will obtain mutations that help them resist our powers. Favored mutation. Resistance bonuses. Warp surges. Causes afflictions. Unknown minion of chaos. Our prognosticators have augured that we will face minions of chaos on the planet's surface. We we attune the prognosticator to the system. They will be able to tell us more. Okay. So what the hell do I do? Back? Commander. It is our duty to support this Inquisitor, but we should complete this task as swiftly as we can. The Grand Masters on Titan are waiting for our report. Report! Signals from quarantine beacons detected in the upper atmosphere, but the surface itself is silent. Plague, Commander. Send your squad to the surface. Knights of Titan, you are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Make planet fall and discover if the Inquisitor's fears are founded. Let's get your Terminator armor. Now we got a purgator. I got our interceptor. We got our apothecary. Ugh. Keep hitting the wrong button. 
Alright, because we want this so we can get more heals. Alright. I think we're good. Stun meter. I'll have to pay. Alright, chaos is up there. over there. Praise the Emperor. Moving now. Knights! Brothers, strike for the chapter. At your service. My blade is ever ready. Out of range. Your orders. Teleport, huh? Ah! Oh, destroyed, Commander. tank with your terminator armor Wait. 
Yes, Commander. Yes. Depleted. Blank. We have purified this place. Ready to serve. Moving swiftly. Raise the emperor. Taking position. My blade is yours. These wounds will heal. My wrath is restored, brother. What is your will? They said there was somebody hiding around here. Maybe I was mistaken. At your command. As orders. Your orders? I am here to serve. On my way. Do. I am with. You. Steady and sure. Ah, he's up here. Okay. Now. <laughs> Nurgle boys. Wait, that creature. Inquisitor, we have seen the dead walk in this way before. As have I. Hawkswalkers are evidence of warp corruption. This is no natural Your plane. command? Advancing. I am his will. Once, foe wounded. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. I wonder if it would make sense to just put stuff in the reaction Final fire. Since we know these guys are melee. I will hold them here. They shall not pass. <laughs> we are. I will need to examine this corpse and I will not tolerate this contamination spreading through my servitors. Do not obstruct me, tech priest. I will follow proper protocols. For the golden throne! <laughs> Lots of reinforcements. Ammunition depleted. I am his will. Mercy in death. We bring death. We slay the darkness. I am here to serve. Oh. 
What is your will? I am the chosen shield. You have been judged. Yes, come on. Probably could have just done scatter shot before, but. so I can set to work. We will deliver them to you as soon as containment is properly confirmed and sanctified. Be swift about it. If this plague has already spread beyond this planet, then we will have far more ground to cover. Yeah, I do not like that gun. servitors. We have located evidence of a vile pox walkers on the planet of the Plague Lord's work. We have recovered a body so the Inquisitor Varkar can investigate it further. Mission objectives achieved, Commander. Our guest wishes to speak with you in the Libras. I actually want to go back to the planetarium to re-equip my guys now that are not the planetarium but the barracks strategium so I can now that I know that grenades are actually very helpful. you on this impressive archive of demonic lore, Commander. It rivals some I've seen in inquisitorial fortresses. I will require it as a base of operations for my studies. I respect your authority in matters of combat, but I must remain until I can ascertain some solution to this plague. I am, of course, open to recommendations on which lines of study you feel would best serve the mission. I must insist, however, I'm beginning my research with a necropsy of the Poxwalker carcass your brothers recovered. I am certain they hold a key to understanding this corruption. Hmm. Okay. Research menu. I will conduct a necropsy of the recovered corpse to see what I can learn. Pockwalker necropsy. Research time, 30 days. The Pockwalkers walkers we discovered on Koromar are a sign of some malevolent forces behind the plague. I am certain that within the carcasses of the infected I will find further clues. Mysteries revealed. So is this like part of the story I gotta go through all this research? I shall begin at once. Inform your crew that I am not to be disturbed. I toil with a critical lack of resources. I request you attend me in the Manufactorum.
My servitors have restored the Manufactorum to operational use, but the Edict remains severely damaged. Without access to a proper dockyard, restoration will be slow and limited by the resources we can requisition from Titan or nearby Inquisitorial Enclaves. As of this moment, reviving the Edict's core power output takes absolute primacy. Okay, construction rate 100%, servitor production suspended, augmentation offline, ship status. I must improve the Edict's power output in order to conduct more extensive repairs. Servitor production offline. The plasma reactor has been damaged and rendered inoperative until we repair it. Our construction off reconstruction efforts cannot progress. 12 servitors. Repair. Oh, so I can't even expedite anything, huh? Because I need more servitors. I must now interface with the logic engines. I trust you have a great deal to attend to. Commander, I have adjusted the star map to display our current sector. However, our intelligence here is sparse. I suggest we bide our time until the Dominus restores power to our scandals. How do I tell how much time has gone by? Okay, up here. Dominus has restored the star map to its full function. We are receiving a barrage of scanning data and astropathic scrapings from across the sector. This plague appears to have already spread its tendrils far and wide. We are faced with reports of two infected systems. We should monitor this infestation carefully and judge where best to direct our forces while the Inquisitor pursues her answers. Failure will cost many souls. Ship project complete. Repair plasma reactor. Commander, I have completed the repairs of the plasma reactor. Our reconstruction efforts can proceed once again. Start new project. Protocol demands a preliminary salutation. Consider this requirement fulfilled. We must activate quarantine protocols with the pox walker within with the po that pox walker specimen. Oh, I see, so these are different things to talk about, huh? I will not have the edict put at risk, even for an inquisitor. This is no ordinary corruption. The ship will remain sterile. We'll hold up until we are done with this the sector. The edict has never let any of the brotherhoods that have traveled in her down. Yes, we are operating on her time scale now. That is the way of the Inquisition. Oh, it doesn't read all of it to us. You confuse me. Agreed. That is why I've instigated seven layers of redundancies as well as the highest security protocols and even Bionis rubric mesh placed over the Baleful Edict's cogitator systems. The ship will remain sterile. The Inquisitor's demand are extracting. As the way of the Inquisition, they are often illogical, driven by vulgaries of the flesh. Instant results required even when the dispassion and analysis would prove beneficial. The dangers in the minds of unenhanced by the Omnissiah. Let's discuss something else. 
How long did you know Commander Agrava? Agravain. You have been the primary vessel for the commander for the past 22 years. Although the vagaries of travel within the warp mean any span of time is approximate. He had the respect of the Battle Brothers and the crew. He was a leader in the Grey Knights, so he was revered. However, my own analysis has his mission success rate a mere 99.7%. He spent many hours in repentant contemplation over the 0 0.3 inadequacy whenever I reminded him of it. How would he have dealt with the Inquisitor? He did not suffer fools, or those that dared countenance his authority. Proportionality. While he would not welcome them on board, the commander upheld the traditions of the chapter's relationship with the Inquisition. However, he did not suffer fools. A quick probability of scry suggests that there is a 73.6% chance that he had, that had Agravain still been in command, he would have been in confrontation with the Inquisitor. It seems he had an influence, your defiance towards the Inquisitor is curious. Defiance suggests an emotional need to obstruct or obfuscate. I merely state the truth. The baneful edict is in need of respite after our losses against Caledum. We serve the Emperor and must go where he requires. Indeed, I serve the Omnissiah. It is by his mechanical will that we ply the stars. The Empire and the Omnissiah, they are one and the same, yes? Ecclesiarchy's imperial creed carries only a muted echo of the machine god's true will. Of course. And then he says that comment, Come such words should not surprise an Astartes. After all, you may revere the Emperor, but I know it is not in your creed to worship him, especially the Grey Knights who can trace their genesis directly to the Golden Throne. Let us discuss something else. What is the status of our construction efforts? I was waiting on you, Commander, to allocate the priority order. Without, Without that data point, I cannot cogitate the required resources. A decision is required. Let us discuss something else. Why is it saying that's not done? Active reconstruction projects, Commander. Waiting for new input. I was waiting on you. Affirmative. The interaction is over. Let's get the barracks going. Alright, well I'm going to call quits here today since it looks like I'm going to have to go through and talk with all these different people, get a little more lore, and move on to the next mission here. I don't want to make this too long of a first episode, so thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe to me to post more content for you. Have a great day.